Uh, I travel for business sometimes. I'll also travel just to travel. I know you travel. I mean, it should be a party, right? An airplane is uh, fun to take a ride on. You're in the sky. Uh, there's not much more you than that if you're with some, some good people. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. And today I'm going to show you an awesome solution uh, I came across from uh, Nick Glass Tinner. I apologize if I'm botching that name. I probably am. Uh, but uh, I've gotten a lot of asks about ways to secure access to Windows 365 cloud PCs, how users can make requests to it. And uh, Nick Glass did a great um, write up on a solution that's native to Microsoft um, using Entra ID. So uh, I think you're going to really enjoy this. I mean, you have a party on an airplane. It's a great time. Okay, so the the simple way to put this is we have a user that wants to use a Windows 365 cloud PC, right? And a few things has to a few things have to happen. The user needs some things before we can give them this access. Okay, so they need a license for Windows 365. Typically, a license is assigned to a group. Uh, we can call this our cloud PC group. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to give this license to this user. We can do this, um, <clears throat> which means they have to be in that group, right? So, okay. So what I have here is a little convoluted. Um, I have my cloud PC group, which is assigned to the Windows 365 license. Um, and then I have that license assigned to the user. And once that's assigned to the user, then their PC is provisioned. But how do I get them in that group without manually uh, putting them in there? Okay, so what do I have here? I have an Entra access package. And an access package is basically something a user can be either brought into manually, automatically, or uh, they can self-request it. Uh, an access package basically gives entitlement to a user uh, for anything from groups, teams, SharePoint sites, and of course the various things assigned to those groups. So if I require an access package to be part of the cloud PC group, um, and I put a user in this package, or uh, I have them automatically pulled in via a dynamic rule, however I have that assigned, they're going to get that license. So I guess what's the difference between this and the group? Well, I can request access to an entry package, and I can put that on the user, right? So the way this would work is the user would make a request to have this package. And depending on how I have this set up, I can then grant access to the package. And once they are granted access, they have uh, they are then part of the cloud PC group. They're part of that. And of course, they are then given a license. OK, and once they are given the license, they have access to that cloud PC. Can you tell that I'm also a graphic artist in my spare time? So let's move on to how we can make that happen. Let's start by going to entra.microsoft.com, log in with our Entra portal. Now, a few things you're gonna need to get going with this is you're gonna need the Entra ID plan too. So you have access to this, um, some of the identity governance features we're using. Obviously you need a Windows 365 license and you need, um, you're going to basically need to create a security group to assign the license to. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my all groups and um, I am going to make a group called cloud PC users, users assigned in a Windows 365 cloud PC license. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and create that group. Once the group is created, we're going to assign a license to the group. So we're going to use our Windows 365 license. So now the license is assigned to that group. So anyone who's in there will get the cloud license. So that's step one. 
Now, as far as the cloud PC goes, we want to go back to Intune and make sure our provisioning policy for Windows 365 is set to that group. So I go to Devices, Windows 365. Okay, so these are my provisioning policies. I have a few here. Um, I'm going to take my cloud PC one, which has the Windows 11 image with the Microsoft 365 apps, and I'm going to assign that to the group we just created. So let's do cloud PCs, cloud PC users, next and update. So now both the license and the provisioning policy are assigned to that group. And that's all you need as far as Windows 365 goes. Uh, for more information on like setting this up and how Windows 365 works, I'm gonna put a link below. I already covered that in a video, so you're free to, to, to check that out, obviously. Um, let's go back to Entra. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to Identity Governance and we're going to go to Entitlement Management and Access Packages. We're going to create a new access package. So we're going to call this Windows 365 Cloud PC and Access to Cloud. PC users group, which assigns W365 license and provisioning policy. Okay, now my role. So what is this access package giving access to essentially? So we're gonna go to groups and teams and we can click on groups. And what we can do, make sure you click on see all groups and teams, not in the general category um access packages can get more granular with things being set to different categories we're not going into that today um definitely something for uh, another time but for now we're just going to find the group we created the cloud pc users group and we're just going to select the member role so by by requesting access to this package you're going to go ahead and become a member if you're granted that and that's all we need here so we're going to hit next all right, who can request access for users in your directory, not in your directory, or we could say none. And this has to be directly assigned to specific users by an administrator. So we're gonna say for users in the directory, right? Cause we just want all our users. You can obviously um, uh, bring this down to all users, including or excluding guests, specific users. You can narrow this down to certain groups are eligible. I'm gonna keep um, all members excluding guests, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, require approval for this request. So require request or justification, yes. This means if I'm making a request, I have to provide a justification. Why do I need this cloud PC? How many stages of approval? You can have many. I'm just gonna do one. So the manager is approval. No, I'm gonna choose a specific approver. So who is going to approve this? Well, it makes sense that it will be me. You could obviously set this as a group, uh, maybe a group of admins or the direct manager, uh, a lot of options there. And the decision must be made in, I'm gonna say three days. This needs to be done kind of quick. Um, and do I have to put justification? Uh, I'll put yes. Enable new request. Okay, so enabling new request um, basically says, hey, is this, can people make requests to this access package or am I turning it off for now? Maybe I have a freeze I don't want to deploy anymore. I'm going to say yes because I want folks to be able to do this. Um, and we're not using verified IDs, whole other subject. Um, maybe one day in the future we'll get to. Requester information. So what you can do is you can set certain prompts to this. So for example, you can say reasons, uh, what is the reason you need a Windows 365 cloud PC? And the answer to that can either be short text, multiple choice, long text. Uh, so we can do uh, long text. We can say, um, how long do you need the cloud PC and that could be multiple choice, which we can do um, just choose English and we will say 
Um, one month. Uh, three months. I'll say two months. These are actually all going to be English. Two months. And three months. Cool. So I have some multiple choice there. Um, so now the life cycle. Uh, how long is this access package good for? Right? Um, you could do it by hours, a specific date. It never expires, a certain number of days. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, I'm going to put 90 days on it. And, uh, you know, it could always, users can re request a specific timeline. No. Um, there are some advanced settings, allow them to extend. Yes. Require approval. Yes. So my default would be, I give you this machine for 90 days and you can request an extension and I would have to approve it again. Require access reviews. No. Okay. And I don't have any custom extensions. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create this package, verifying everything is correct. And we are good to go. Okay, so what does this look like from the end user's perspective, right? So let's say I'm Luke Skywalker, I wish. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to myaccess.microsoft.com. Okay, so I am all signed in here. No, I don't wanna take a survey. I can, on the left, I can go to access packages and take a look at that. This is available to me. So I'm going to go ahead and request this. Access to cloud PC resources. You can see what it'll give me access to. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. What is the reason you need a Windows 365 cloud PC? I will be working on the Intune migration project. And my local PC doesn't have enough resources. How long do you need it? Uh, two months. Business justification. Um, so again, because I had these additional prompts, I could just put C above and I will submit my request. All right, what does that look like for an admin? So I'm gonna go back over to our lab and here I am signed in as Steve. So I'm gonna go to um, the same site for me, myaccess.microsoft.com. So what I can do is when I'm brought in here to the My Access site, you can see right at the top, I have a pending action, um, a request. So I can see right up here, I can approve or deny that. I'm gonna go ahead and click that and it's gonna take me to the approvals and let's take a look, let's hit review. So uh, request details by Luke Skywalker. Uh, this is what he wants, information provided. What is your reasoning? I will be working on and I can say, oh, yeah, of course, Luke is is doing this project. I assigned him to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and approve and add Luke is assigned. Luke is assigned this project and needs this needs this cloud PC for up to 90 days. And I'm going to go ahead and submit. That's been approved. What does this look like for Luke? So Luke comes back in, no pending actions. If I go to access packages, you can see I have something new under active. So great, I have this, I should be in that group. Now we can check some things here. All right, we can go back to groups and see if Luke's been added. You can see we have a member now. Luke is in that group, excellent which means he should have the license. And if we really want to get crafty, we'll go back to Intune, Devices, Windows, sorry, Devices, Windows 365. And all cloud PCs. And you can see we have one that's pending provisioning for Luke. This is a great flow, right? Because you could see everything there once set up was automatic, 
right? So Luke's going to get that PC, be able to log in. It's going to have the option to extend, right? Which will just go through that same process. And obviously there's a lot more you can do to this. You can build in other groups and licensing, but just from a, a I would say a native way of baking this out, having the Windows 365 uh, cloud PCs automatically provisioned based on that request is an awesome win. Uh, thanks again to Nick Glass for putting this together. Um, you know, I think this is going to be a tremendous help for a lot of folks and hope, hopefully seeing, uh, seeing us walk through it'll help. Um, hop in the Discord, let us know if you're using this, what you think of it, and we'll be seeing you. Five, four, three.